Hey, how y'all doing? This is Coach Swift. I'm a physical therapist and I'm a fitness coach. I help people to build their confidence by building their minds and building their bodies. Today, I want to talk to you guys about getting fit. All right. We about to get fit. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to tell y'all how to do it in these three easy steps. Getting fit. First of all, F, you have to have faith, faith in the process. You got to believe that this thing is possible. Look, when our daily lives, you know, we have a lot of situations, circumstances and responsibilities that we can allow to hold us back from trying to do different things and doing things that's new or even things that can benefit us. We get caught up in our programming, our day to day routines. And sometimes when we want to try something do, uh, new, we find ourselves getting stuck in that old routine. So the only way we can break that old routine is we have to start off by just believing that it's possible that we can shut down the excuses, that we can shut down those things that we call obstacles and allow this new process to take place. Because when you're getting ready to change, you got to believe that it's possible. Because if you don't believe it's possible, those obstacles will get in front of you and it will shut you down and it will stop you from growing. So first, guys, you got to have faith. You got to believe. You got to believe it's possible. And it is possible. Whatever you think, whatever you feel, Whatever you hold on to, whatever you focus on has great power. So focus on seeing yourself doing it. Focus on seeing yourself reaching that goal. Next, I, you have to invest in yourself. Look, we, we spend so much time investing in our jobs, investing in our, our um, relationships, investing in our kids, investing in everything. But how much time are you investing in yourself? When you got something new coming up in your life or you, you want to make some type of growth in your life, how much time are you putting into that to, to make yourself better? Are you putting everybody before you? If you are, listen, y'all, you need to listen right now. If you're putting everybody before you, stop it. Stop it right now. And I want you to start making time for yourself. It's very important. You are your biggest support system. So if you're not making time for you, if you're not celebrating you, if you're not building yourself up, nobody else is going to do it for you. So invest in yourself. Make time to do what you need to do. When you make that goal, once you create that plan, start acting on it. I know in life things happen that the holidays come up or that situation at work happened or the situation in your relationship. And then we might justify this as a reason why we can stop working on this new habit. But no, no, you can't do that when you invest in yourself. When you, when you invest in, in, in a house, you don't stop paying on it because of what happened at work. So when you invest in your health, you have to keep on going no matter what happens. This is this or you're investing in yourself. You just got to keep going no matter what. Finally, T, take the time for yourself to understand that this thing is going to take time. It's not going to happen this week. It's not going to manifest the way that you imagined it in two weeks. It's not even going to be quite exactly like you wanted in four weeks. But I'm telling you, in that four week period, you'll start building a foundation. And this foundation will be a foundation of discipline, a foundation of consistency, a, a foundation of building a new habit. And I'm telling you, once you build a strong foundation, you're going to start seeing this thing appear and build up to exactly how you want it to look. But you got to build a foundation first. Without the foundation, whatever you're doing is going to sink and might crash. It might, and you have to rebuild it all over again. So Guys, being fit is just having faith, investing in yourself, and it's also just letting it take course, let it take time. So we can apply the principle of being fit in every area of our life. If it's relationships, if it's at the workplaces, if it's in your business, or if it's in your fitness and your health, if you apply these three principles, having faith with yourself, investing in yourself, and just taking time, letting it take its course, I guarantee you that you're going to be fit in any aspect of your life. So let's take the time today to do something that's going to make us better tomorrow. Till next time, peace.